Hello guys, welcome back to E7 Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily 7 Engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to differentiate between the one in continuous and both in continuous beam. So, I will explain with the help of the figure so it will be more easy to understand. So, let's consider this is in a frame structure where it is composed of the column. We can see the vertical members are the column here and the horizontal members are the beams beams so there are three beams and four columns and beams are supported by these vertical members known as the columns so how we can differentiate that this is a one in continuous beam or it is a two or both in continuous beam so there is a very simple differentiation between these two types of the beam the one in first i will discuss the one in continuous beam if the beam is continuous only on one end, then this type of the beam will be known as the one in continuous beam. So, for example, there are three beams, one, two, and three. We have three horizontal members. These are horizontal members. So, we have three beams here. So, if we look to the first beam, there is this beam has been continuous on one in this beam has been gone through this column and again it has been continued so this beam has been continued on one end but here if you look to this beam on this side it has not been continued on the another side this continues at this end but this continues on this end so this type of the beam will be known as the one in continuous beam Similarly, if we look to this beam, so this beam is being continuous on one end here, but here if we look to this beam, it has been discontinuous after this column. So this beam is also known as one in continuous beam because the one end is continuous and the other end of the beam is free. Or we can see the fixed so this why is known as the one in continuous beam now if you look to the middle beam this number second beam so this beam has been continuous on this end as well as it has been continuous on this side so this beam has been continuous on both the ends of the columns so this type of beam is known as the both in continuous beam in continuous beam similarly if we draw the free body diagram for this frame structure or we have let's suppose more supports rather than only four but let's suppose we have more here supports so this end of the beam if these are the horizontal members are the beam and these are the columns the supports are the columns. let's suppose so this beam will be known as the one in continuous beam because this end has been discontinuous while this end has been continuous so this will be one in continuous beam similarly if we look to this beam so the one end is continuous while the other end has been discontinuous so this will be also known as the one in continuous beam so what if we look to this beam this beam or this beam which are the middle beams so these beams are continuous on both the sides Similarly, this beam is also continuous on both the sides. Similarly, this beam is being continuous on both sides. So these all beams, middle beams are known as the both in continuous beam. So this was the main difference between the one in continuous and the both in continuous beam. Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily one engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.